Welcome, and thank you for joining me for America Needs Fatima's series, Stories of the Angels. In this series, we will be exploring the incredible angelic encounters found within scriptures, transcripts, stories of the saints, and more, in an effort to understand their God-given mission. Come with me as I share the messages, prayers, and warnings these angels have brought to us and discover the many complexities that make them the most fascinating creatures to ever exist. Join us in this exploration of the mysteries surrounding God's most faithful ministers, the admirable creatures we call the angels. A strong wind swept through the air in the summer of 1916 at the house of Lucia dos Santos' parents in the village of Aljustrel, near Fatima. Three children, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta, now known as the three shepherd children of Fatima, played next to a well. Earlier that year, the children had felt a similar strong wind in the spring or summer and looked up to see what was happening. Before their very eyes was the shape of a transparent young man who was more brilliant than crystal, and they saw he was a young man of great beauty as he approached. This man, they discovered, was the Angel of Portugal, or the Angel of Peace, who had appeared to them in human form. Now, the angel was appearing to them a second time. What are you doing? He exclaimed. Pray, pray a great deal. The sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary have merciful designs concerning you. Offer prayers and sacrifices constantly to the Most High. I'm sure we have all had our reasons for being scolded and have experienced it from our parents more often than not while growing up. But I don't think I could ever fully recover from an angel scolding me. It is undoubtedly a scolding I would receive very seriously and take special care to heed. But the scene we stumble upon here, with the children playing near the well, is a perfect example of why three children were tasked with the incredible responsibility of the Fatima apparitions. Although they had witnessed an angelic apparition that would shake anyone to their core, they would still remain childlike because they were innocent. Children enjoy an innocent and carefree disposition that will be worth its weight in gold in those coming years as opposed to a bitter or war-hardened heart of an experienced adult. And as weighty as their future would become, their faith and their innocent hearts would see them to the end in that vital task. But as we will soon learn, the three shepherds were perhaps a bit too carefree in the face of such a monumental event. This leads us to the three primary purposes for the angel's second apparition. The first was to prepare the children for the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima. Secondly, to act as the messenger of Our Lady. And lastly, to reprimand the children for not taking the situation as seriously as they ought. And so, Lucia asked the angel, How must we sacrifice? He told her, Offer God a sacrifice of anything you can as an act of reparation for the sins with which he is offended and as a supplication for the conversion of sinners. Draw peace upon your country by doing this. I am its guardian angel the angel of Portugal. Above all, accept and endure with submission whatever suffering the Lord sends you. Then, as mysterious as he arrived, he disappeared. Lucia later said that the angel's words were impressed upon our souls like a light that made us understand who God is, how much he loves us and wishes to be loved, the value of sacrifice and how sacrifice pleases God and how he converts sinners because of it. And so, they were left once again to await the next apparition. This time, however, they had a task to complete and a message to share. A simple and straightforward message. Pray and make sacrifices for their sins and the sins of others. I leave you with this parting prayer taught by the angel to the Fatima children and encourage you to repeat and share it as often as possible. My God, I believe, adore, hope, and love Thee. I beg Thee forgiveness for those who do not believe 
do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and return for the next one when the angel brings the body and blood of Jesus Christ to the children during the last angelic apparition of Fatima. Until next time, may God bless you and Our Lady keep you under her mantle.